Yeah. You have bad kidneys. No, actually, I'm very healthy. I have good kidneys. I took x-rays uh, the next day. They found two small ones, but they said just keep drinking more water. It'll pass, it, and it, they'll dissolve. They should dissolve. But people have, like, golf ball ones, and they got to do surgery. Oh, so yours, did you see it? Yeah, I shot it out like a rocket. Went ping, it hit the toilet. If it didn't make the noise, I wouldn't know it came out. So and it's a literal down. stone. It's a stone. It's Black a calcification stone. of, yes. like, whatever toxins are... Yeah. In that, so I know how they say I know now how a woman gives birth. I'm sure that's not really, but <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> welcome to It's a Hawaii Thing. I'm Lanai, and that's Brooke Lee. We got a very Hi, special yeah. guest today, but first. Take care of some business. We've got to thank Hawaii oh. Financial Cre Federal Credit Union. Uh, Paulette and her people opened up a new spot. On Maui. Yes, in, in Kahului. Kahului. You can now join yeah. if, and be a member. Also, mahalo to the Star Advertiser, bringing you what matters. It's a Hawaii thing. Viewers Give them the can code. now receive Star Advertiser digital full access for just nine ninety five a Give month. Give them the code. It's Ahi Thing. A high Thing. There you go. There also, you go. the Office of Elections, Hawaii votes by mail. We got to commend all of you yes. for voting uh, this first time. Except Lanai is taking full credit for why all of you voted. Because we've been promoting it. Yeah, so he's he's single handedly made Hawaii vote. No more. grumble, just vote. Yeah. Also, we want to thank City Mill. Anything you need, they got. They got yellow buckets. They have a lot of yellow buckets. They got paint. Yes, they have chalk spray paint. Did you know that? I know that they have ant killer. I bought that there. They got hose. Rakes, everything for a garden. Nails. I know you were thinking something oh, else. Oh, wow. All right, today's guest, um, I'm going to give her the best introduction she's ever had in her mm -hmm. life. Uh, I've been, I was trying to get her on my cooking show for like four years. She oh. ignored me, sent Smart messages. Smart woman. You know, woman after my own heart. In her DM, everything, no response. And then Smart girl. I had to call like five of her friends that are friends of oh, mine. So like to a say, stalker. Hey, this guy's trying to get a hold <laughs> so of you. So you. She's a uh, two-time world champion on the ASP World Longboard <laughs> World Tour. She's part of the Waikiki history and uh, because her family is just Waikiki. Yes. Uh, she's been competing with the best <laughs> in the world since she was 14 years old. Uh, she's been in numerous surfing magazines and was named Surfing Magazine's Top 100 Surfing. Surfers. Girl. She's a model, and you might have seen her on ads around town. She's a Roxy girl, and uh, she comes from a very popular family, like I mentioned. Ladies and gentlemen, Kalia Maniz. Hi. Aloha. Hi. How are you? Thank you for having me. Welcome for to the, the podcast. second time. Yes. <laughs> I feel very Wait, so to be let's here. just establish. So you did finally go on the cooking show? I did. Or yes. And what did you make on the cooking show? Oh. I actually regretted what I made after I made Why? it because I thought of something else that I wanted to make and no, I didn't make it. I know a lot of people do that. They always, I see them, they go, I wanted to make something else. I, I didn't know, get a, a choice. Panic. I didn't get a choice. You made me make something with the tulip. Well, because you don't cook that well. That's not why. <laughs> no, it is. I you took really the don't. bullet because you needed to pay bills and nobody else you want, didn't want to ask. What did you make? I'd make fried rice with tulip. Yeah, but it was either that like or cereal. Meat. It was like, I'll make cereal. No, that's not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> he just felt comfortable enough to ask me. He didn't want to ask like famous or people. Kelly, what did like, you want to make? <laughs> I wanted to make. Um, now I can't think of what you I wanted to make. No salad. ginger chicken. Um, ginger. Cold ginger. Cold chicken? ginger chicken, but ahi. Wow. wow. Yeah. I've been making that a lot. That's a good one. That's You've been so making good. ahi now? Girl, you can't eat that much ahi right only, now. You, I can only have 12 a ounces a week. Just so we can clarify, because it's a desk. <laughs> she's yeah. she's pregnant. She's a pie. So yeah. she can't, you know, like, we're not just punishing her for not so eating ahi. But. I have been eating ahi. Yeah. They say you're not supposed to, yeah. but my doctor said I could, because oh, okay. I am norm I eat it normally. Yeah. Got it. If it's something that I didn't eat, she probably wouldn't recommend ah. So it. So you take the cold ginger sauce, mm -hmm. and you put it, it's like I make my cold ginger sauce with salmon poke. Oh. Yeah. And you know who ahi. taught me that? Who? Carissa Moore's grandfather. Really? <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Small world. Yeah, I, I did it as a, like in high school, but the way he did it, I make it and people go you made nuts. Gold. Okay, you so made what's the secret? Can you give it away? In give, high school? I'll make this easy for you. Mm, liar. Go ahead. Why would I lie? Who? What high schooler dices things and puts no, it on? No, when I was <laughs> attending high school, not in high school. Oh, got it. Okay. Yeah, I was just learning stuff in high got school. Got it, got it. Uh, what you do is you go to a Chinese restaurant and you <laughs> buy the gold it. ginger sauce and then you cut up the salmon and you put it together and it's wow. done. It's actually Life so hack. annoying <laughs> to cut up the ginger. I'm sure it is. So you have to grate it, that's why. I didn't know that. And then if you thing. go to like a Walmart or go to City Mill, they have these little <laughs> like, like ginger. A little uh, shredder. 
it's small. They're like 20 bucks. You garlic, onions, whatever you want to put in there, and it'll grind like it up for you. Like a food processor? Like a food processor, but it's a little small, like a little small. Get one of those. Okay. okay. I'll get you one for your baby, baby shower. shower. Okay, great. So you can yeah. I'll be looking little, forward to little. that. <laughs> anyway, how are you? <laughs> I'm great. Thanks for joining the show. Sorry I was late today. No, it's okay. It's never late. Yeah, we know Dude, you're late to everything, so it's okay. You are pregnant. I'm not. You are I was not late time. to the cooking show. Yo, you weren't there, yeah. No. But you were late to four other things this month. What's wrong with you? <laughs> She's our guest. <laughs> I didn't even, I wasn't even late. I like this just missed This is why them people completely. don't come in studio. Oh, Stop picking right. on people. <laughs> we're glad to have humans in the studio. Are you Are you missing traveling? Um, A little bit. Yeah. But I'm really enjoying being home. Yeah, because you're nesting. Are you nesting? Not right yet. Oh, okay. That's yeah. going to become a thing, girl. We just moved into our new place and we renovated it. So I feel like the renovations were so brutal mm. yeah. that I don't want to do a single thing right, right now. You're like, I'm tired. I'm making I'm so eyeballs tired. right now. I'm yeah. tired. Well, you were kind of nesting your kitchen, right? Was it looked mean? like it. Yes. So we redid our whole kitchen. We did a whole bathroom. It's a super small little house. Mm. Um, and it was just a lot of work. It's going to get smaller once that baby though. comes. <laughs> That's fun stuff. Do you know what you're having? We're having a boy. <gasps> hey, girl. I need help with names. Oh, well, so. Lanai is a good you, one. Like the Monizes <laughs> need another boy. They don't need another boy. Well, the last boy. name won't be Moniz, right? I, well, yeah. But it will Termini. be a Moniz. Let's but, be, let's but be he, clear. He looks like a Moniz. The ultrasound picture, I'm oh, like, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> That's he funny. looks like Duke Kanemoku. <laughs> <laughs> good. <laughs> Full Hawaiian baby. That's awesome. Are you yeah, are you uh, excited? Are you nervous? I'm so excited. Yeah. I think I'll get nervous like leading up to actually having to like do the whole process and of getting him out. But you'll be. Fine. I, I don't know you well, but I know you, and I think you'd be a, you're going to be a really good mom. Aww. You're, you're, a, good you're a waterman. Kids. You'll be fine. Like yeah. you've charged, you can have a baby. <laughs> I don't know. That's very different. Yeah, it's going to be the same. It's going to be the same. <laughs> we got to take a little break. Don't go anywhere. Kaylee Moniz is hanging out with us. This uh, show brought to you by Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union. Yes. Paulette and her people down there making. Uh, you're saying federal better now. Yeah. Are you practicing? I've been practicing. Okay. You know, because I have a Filipino accent. Yeah. Pedoral? The, yeah, Pedoral? it comes out pedoral sometimes. Pedoral. Yeah. Uh, but we got to thank them for opening up a branch on Maui. If you live on Maui, uh, you can now just Kahui walk side. in and you can just be a member. It's not difficult anymore. Also, mahalo to the Star Advertiser. Yes, For always. bringing you what matters. Hawaii viewers now can get a Star Advertiser digital full access for only nine ninety five. And you get a code. What's the code? A high thing. Use the code and you get the access to it. Also, mahalo to the Office of Elections and mahalo to you, Hawaii, for yes. voting. I think we broke records. Yes, we did. It's about time. I love it that you just had to walk to your mailbox. You, That's all it took, Hawaii, to get you guys to vote. It shows how lazy path, we are. Make the path yeah. shorter. You couldn't That's go it. to the elementary That's school it. next door. You had to That's go to the it. mailbox. Just go to the mailbox. But as long as you voted, you that's all it. that matters. You and, uh, nailed it. Mahalo to the uh, elections.hawaii.gov for making it easy and spreading the word. 453 vote. Also, mahalo to City Mill. Yes. Anything you need, you can get at City Mill. Mango season. It, this get a is mango true. stick. Mango yes. picker. Mango yellow picker, bucket. Yellow pickle. Yeah, for the mangoes. You need yes. glue. Glue is a good one. Carpet. And sandbags for the hurricane. You're, Very you're good. You're like going to be a gardener. Nails. Now. So you're going to be your turn. Uh, a rake. A rake. Your turn. Uh, gardening supplies uh, and tons hint. of wood. Wood, you need wood. Look at that. Hurricane season. I you know made a gate. I made a fence. <laughs> a gate? My pro- Sorry, I made a. I made a fence. You did. White picket. In your Not current white. situation. Well, when I was like two months. She's okay. nesting already. Okay. Yeah, Kalia's hanging out with us Kalia? today. Kalia. It's the uh, it's a Hawaii thing podcast. When you travel the world, what is the thing that you miss? Like I need to go home and get right now. Oh, always food. Yeah. What is yeah. it? What's that food? <laughs> Highway in usually is oh. where I go to when I get All off right. the plane. Okay. It's easy. It's fast. Yeah. It's delicious. It is delicious. Um, also, Yanagi sushi. I love Yanagi. I'm, you know, my you Yanagi can't eat like sushi when you're week. pregnant, though. She can. I eat nachos. She's a mermaid. No, but you're not supposed to eat like raw fish. Wait a stuff, minute, right? you eat natto? Oh yeah. Ugh. Why are you making like every that face? Day. You're that's, Filipino. That's you guys two, eat like yeah. chicken embryos. That's two like, of the what? only things that I don't eat. Okay, what's the other? Balut. <laughs> the chicken embryo. That's shocking. Yeah. Really? Yeah, oh my god, balut. we should make like a whole like thing that's just balut if with natto on it. If you want to see me vomit <gasps> the whole show, then we can do that. Yeah, I, I could not do the balut. The, is, if it I smells don't. bad, I won't eat it. That's not true. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Ask any girl that I'm not dating anymore. Ask anything that I ate. Isn't synagogue? <laughs> isn't there like things in the Filipino cuisine that's a little off kilter smelling? Like, no, just balut. 
What about the pig's blood? No, nope, no smell. Seriously? Yeah. Pig's blood. Yeah. No smell. No smell. Do you eat it's it? Lying. I used to. It looks like Dinuguan. And then uh, is my, din- my grandfather woke me up one morning. I was 12 or 13. And he said, come in the yard. And I heard this pig squealing. <gasps> oh, no. And I had to hold him. And there's a, you, there's a bucket that you put the blood in it. And I oh, had to hold the bucket. What's the soup? Is it Dinuguan? Is that yeah, what it's Yeah, mm-hmm. And I forever was hurt. Yeah, yeah, I would probably hurt. Too. Yeah, I didn't like it. Okay. Where is your favorite place to travel when um, you're traveling? It depends. I I actually really enjoy going to cities. So like, I love Japan. Oh, nice. my favorite too. Um, I love Japan. I love New York City. My husband's from New York. Uh-huh. But oh, okay, yeah, he's a city boy. He is a mate. He's like Italian Brooklyn boy. Oh, so it's like diametrically Loud. opposite. Oh, so opposite. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but I also um, I love going to Tahiti for nice. surfing. Tahiti yeah. thinks it's a town. <laughs> <laughs> it, they're French. It depends where you go to. They think they're right? very busy there. Also, I love France. Yeah, France, I love South France. of France. Yeah. I'm not a big France. No offense. I love you, France, yeah. but like well, I don't get it. I wasn't a big France fan either. Yeah. But I was forced to go there like every single year for probably. I don't get French aesthetic. I just don't. Really? I don't understand the movies. I don't understand the culture. I don't. Okay, but the food, the the wine. The food is bread. So like whatever, you get it. What what turned you on about France? What was the thing? I I don't know. I just started to like, I I felt the same way as you. It was like, oh, all we're eating is like bread and cheese. Carbs, just carbs, carbs and carbs and carbs. Yeah. Yeah. And then I was forced to go there like literally every year since I was not forced, but you know, for work. You're like, I'm a Moniz. It's kind of what we do. Yeah. And I just started to like embrace it. And I also made friends there. Mm. Yeah. That makes a difference. And that makes a huge difference. Because you go local. You start going local. local. Right. I went to like these vineyards Mm. that were like local vineyards in the Basque. And I just like loved it. I was supposed to go this year. I was supposed to go to Champagne and Burgundy, and I got to cancel because of oh. this crap. Are you getting into the Champagne industry? Is that what's happening? No, because of wine. I, I um. make my wine, but I just wanted to go. Um, do you drink wine? I yes, I yeah. do. What's your, what's like, your let me be very clear, Hawaii. <laughs> do you I am with child. Mm. However, however, the doctor does say you can have one glass every so often. What do you and drink? Be fine. There you go. She said it now. What, yeah. what kind of wine do you like? Um, I love rosé during the summer. Oh, yeah. Rosé all day. All day. <laughs> Coronavirus time. I I'm going to give you a, a, one of the best rosés in the world. Okay. Which is yours? Yeah. No, it's not mine. Okay. It's out of uh, Central Coast, oh, though. Yeah. Kaena Wines. Ooh, oh, really? Winning awards, yes. Yeah, Hawaiian guy. Oh, really? Yes. But not Ooh, here. So it's from made. Kumio-o. But it's made. No way. Yeah, he's made in Central Coast. In Shout Rose. out. And he lives there. Born and raised. He lives there. That guy. Born and raised. Uh, what's your other favorites? Um, I love Pinot Noirs. Yeah. But no s- ending. Hmm? Next time you drink a Pinot Noir, there's no aftertaste. A lot of them. What does that even mean? See, there's I'm not like, I'm not like, I'm not like a, like a wino. Yeah. But I do know what I enjoy. <laughs> yeah. But he's a wino. Let's no. be clear. I like, Leo called notes. him a wino, which makes her my best friend. But I friend. want you to notice it. I want you to notice it next <laughs> okay. time you drink it. What else do you like? Yeah, I, don't, I like all wine, really. Anything that's alcohol. Anything that's wine. I'm not in, I'm not in the conversation because being raised Mormon, it's like trying to describe let me, let me colors ask, to but a I don't, blind but person. But I don't like, I don't understand I don't like, any of um, like Riesling. He's so, gonna plug so this it. is my wine. Just say no. He's going to ask. Just say no. Bottle. Just every, say no. every year, I just change the girls' no. faces just and I put no. different local girls' just faces no. on. And I asked Brooke just say several no. times and she said no. Why? Tell her. Why? Tell me, tell them why. Yeah, I use the religion as an excuse, but it's just that <laughs> I don't, don't want to drink be wine. I don't, and I was raised oh, you Mormon. Don't drink wine. I don't because okay. I was raised Mormon. I'm not practicing anymore, but I don't drink liquor. But I just don't want to be on the bottle. So I use the I use the Mormons as a shield. We've known each other for 25 Shielded years or so. Me, We've and been really like, fr- good friends. So he's he tells gonna, me no. He's gonna ask no. you to be on the wine and just say no. You're a Roxy girl. You can't do both. <laughs> I'm your agent right now. Thank you. you. I really appreciate it. I have my own personal you shield can't here. You afford her. Yeah, I, I probably can't. But, you cannot. Uh, we have to take a little break. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> I just feel like these two are ganging up on me now. This is uh, actually this is the best part. <laughs> this is the best part. Go and get Look Me in the Eye. Oh Available at gosh. Whole Foods and Tamora's. Don't like you don't this. like this? This if, is you need this no, because No, it's like being on the big island. We got to get all the negativity the, out of your during, body and get some money. It's inside like a vlog machine. <laughs> it's very healthy. I'm very protective and it's of good her for and, pregnancy. The, and the baby. So I'm like, <laughs> I don't know what's in the vlog. 
<laughs> yeah, it's kind of, okay. I'm fine. Are you ready? I'm are you good. Are you okay? I'm good now. Uh, what's your favorite um, music? What kind of music do you like to listen to? Oh, I like a lot of music. Yeah. I like kind of a little bit of everything, actually. That's good. I like a little I bit of I love local music. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Like, You're a Moniz. Favorite artist? Do you Ooh. have any? Are you going to put me in? Yeah, same name three. Okay, no, the green, get... Kimi A minor, and I love like Maoli and. Um, Those guys are awesome. See, all of people them. get Nuha yeah. though when you don't say their name. That's okay if they get Nuha. You're just it's like, I'm sorry, I forgot. And everyone else them. that I'm missing right now. <laughs> yeah. When but you, I love local music, yeah. Hawaiian music. You go to a lot, a, lot, a lot of live shows? I don't. No. I wish I did more. She travels too much. Yeah. Probably. But when I have the opportunity, I'm there. Like, I'm but like full, I, like, music I'm assuming groupie. when you're abroad and you, like, pop in the AirPods, you're, like, when you're missing Hawaii, you just, oh, like, yeah. jam to the local. Oh, yeah. And you feel like you're back in the islands. Yeah. So. Yeah. You get homesick. It makes you go a little homesick, doesn't it? Totally. Yeah. yeah. I go to, like, I go to Italy a lot and I'll play Hawaiian music mm -hmm. and people in the car are like, What's going on? Are you, is, are you playing Mexican music? <laughs> no, they love it. Spanish music? They love it because it's a different feeling, right? Totally. You know, like if you're in LA, you play hip hop and R&B music mm -hmm. sometimes. But anyway, where's your, um, who's your idol that you look up to when you were a little surfing? Um, it's funny. My dad didn't really like, or my parents didn't really, we didn't like, we didn't have TV. We didn't watch TV. We mm. didn't really watch surf movies or anything. Right. We just kind of like went to the beach and surfed. So yeah. for a while, I didn't really have idols surfing uh -huh. because we didn't know anyone besides the people we surfed with. So right. it was really like people around us. Yeah, yeah. And then those people included like Lance O'Connor. Yeah, but the Bongo people Perkins, you were around. They're my uncles, like, you know? Yeah. So yeah. I was yeah. just like, yeah, they surf really good. around like the creme de la creme. All the beach yeah. boys. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, all the beach boys. Yeah. yeah. Um, obviously like... Auntie Rail was someone that my dad would constantly talk to me about. Right. Basically, just the way she, not really her surfing. It wasn't always about her surfing. It yeah. was always just about like the person she was and how she carried herself. Amazing and person. Amazing person. And she was the only one, really, out there as the a woman time. at the time. She was the she's the queen. Yeah. You yeah. know. I mean, yeah. she was out there when there was only guys in the lineup. Mm -hmm. Who so. taught you how to surf? Um. I mean, my parents, but kind of my brothers. Dad, we kind of just like mad. <laughs> we kind of just like grew up on the beach and like here's some boogie boards, here's some. Tell everybody who your brothers are and what they do. Okay, so I have four brothers. I have my older brother Micah. Hmm. Um, fun fact: we're all like basically like around 15 months apart. Seriously. So when my oldest brother Micah was five my mom just popped out my youngest brother wow. girl, girl learn that lesson she, now <laughs> she's a psycho and then she decided to homeschool all of us wow she's a saint and she's then your second saint. brother so and then it's me okay and then it's my second brother Isaiah he's a surf everyone surfs right. um Isaiah and Micah do help my dad with his um surf school here right. in Waikiki and then Josh and Seth are both the tour surfers. They're right. the golden, <laughs> like she says that the golden like, boys. They're the tour surfers. <laughs> they're the cool kids. I'm known as Josh and Seth's sister now. Really? Oh, really? And how are they doing? They're doing good. Seth's on the world tour. Josh is on the QS, so he's trying to qualify to be on the world tour, yeah. but they're both doing amazing. Obviously, this year has affected everything. Um, everything. Yeah. So yeah. they haven't competed as much, or really at all. Um, but they're doing a lot in the off season. Obviously, being in Hawaii, it's been kind of a challenge thing for them. Be yeah. But for for them, it's great because there's get, they get to surf every day. Right, right, surf right. Really good yeah. ways. You know, I think it's so adorable because you you're you're like their biggest cheerleader. I am. I'm a psycho. <laughs> I need help. I need therapy. <laughs> Pray for my son. It's fine. You will be. You will have a baby to are, like occupy you. Are you then... yeah? Are you yelling at them? Are you coaching them? Are you giving them your it's two cents? It's not ever them. Yeah. It's always everyone else. <laughs> Yeah. So they're not the problem. Uh -huh. They didn't fall. <laughs> it was not their fault. Right. Dang. The judges uh -huh. weren't on their side. No, I'm crazy. That's but funny. that's really how I feel. No, I, I like it. I, you know, I have four <laughs> brothers and we don't have any any girls in the family. So it's kind of cool kind to of see. You're kind of a girl. Yeah, I kind of am. I get <laughs> pedicures and manicures. Yeah, he's kind of a girl. Yeah, she knows me. Super girly. But I love girls. 
Yes, he um, does. Yeah. <laughs> we're aware. Got a problem. People thought problem. he was Mahu for a little while. Because I own a club, club that's Mahu. That's but Mahu but yeah, people get the, they tell me that. He's not. They wouldn't take him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so do your brothers like that you get on them? Um, I think they like the support, yeah. but I think sometimes they're like, can you please relax and <laughs> not um, threaten judges on your Instagram. <laughs> Prank, blame the pregnancy or girl. Or be so obvious that you're just a crazy person. Hormones. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. They haven't ever really said, but yeah. they do say you're crazy. For people <laughs> who don't watch surfing, explain to us, what's a Roxy girl? Um, a Roxy girl. Well, when I was young, so I guess this is the best way to explain it. When she it. was young, Hawaii, because she's so decrepit right now. <laughs> just so we're I'm clear. I'm 27. Uh. <laughs> well, when I wanted to be a Roxy girl, it was just like the Roxy gang was just the epitome of like this group of girls who were essentially like best friends who got to wear the coolest bikinis yeah. and you were and sponsored travel yeah and you're sponsored and you're sponsored and, yeah. and you get to surf the best waves in right. the world the and super do it together of, the super but you're like super of, fun of yeah. the surf community yeah. and i wanted to be that so badly right the cindy crawford's of this surf so, community. so at no. what age so at what <laughs> age did you uh when you got the call like how did that happen so i was it was like my dream to be a Roxy girl. Right. And I um, actually was sponsored by Billabong at first because Billabong picked up my whole family at Ooh, one time. Nice. And I was like super stoked because I was got a sponsor, but right. I wanted to be a Roxy yeah, of girl. of course. So I did this contest in California and um, Donald Takayama, yes. legendary board yes. shaper, <clears throat> rest in peace, Uncle Donald, he, um, he was giving me surfboards. He gave me a surfboard to surf at that contest mm -hmm. and he had told the Roxy team manager at the time there. like you need to watch out for that girl uh, like yeah. she's the next or like you know and so he's kind of the one who got how me how many years how old were you when that happened I was 13 13 you know what I, it it's amazing because nice. I think it's a per, you're a perfect blend with I'm not just saying because I know you it's a perfect blend cuz surfing you 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 know put with Hawaii yeah and yes. you didn't really see Hawaiian girls Oh, the Roxy girls the were Roxy all girls. Hollies? Yeah. yeah. Seriously? Not all, but a lot. Most yeah. of them. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. There's a lot more local Roxy girls now, now though. Yes, but now it is. Then, but back then it was. And, and, no and it was just recently, I think. But they're yeah. more local girls. Yeah. 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 My Nikini Maka, she's from Kauai. Yes. Mm. She's a Roxy girl. Uncle she's Titus. Uncle uh, Titus's Uncle daughter. Titus daughter. She's amazing, too. Yeah, she's amazing. She's yeah. also now like. But just a so we're clear, star. this is not like a pageant. Like you gotta win. No, no. You gotta no. win like on the tour. You have to like hit certain milestones. It's more of a not lifestyle. really though. It's like it's a mix between like performance and lifestyle. I think like for me, I was never the super high performance surfer. So mm -hmm. I didn't get I, I won a couple events that right. helped my Street cred. <laughs> right, yeah. right. But I think because I was from Hawaii, I was born and raised in Waikiki, mm -hmm. I have this like Legacy, legacy of, family. of like family who serves right. all the stuff. I think it just added to my street yeah. cred. My well, campaign. you deserve it, and I think next I'm gonna try to work on getting you a Crest commercial because you got beautiful teeth. He's so obsessed I'm, with I teeth. Love Shout out to Doctor Okuda. <laughs> He's so. I've never obsessed. had a cavity in my life, by the way. I love teeth. So I don't know what it is. You've never yeah. have a cavity never in your life. A, no, and I eat so much sugar. So it's much ridiculous. sugar and wine. This and is whatever. not he fair. Really is yeah. like a chick. But I have all kinds of other problems. But thank you, Kalia, <laughs> for coming on the show. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. I know you're busy. We got a gift for you. Oh yeah. From Enjoy. This is for you. My one job. Yeah. <gasps> Please eat it all. We're going to oh, thank Hawaiian nice. Financial Federal Credit Union, also Star Enjoy Advertiser, snacks. the Office of Elections, City Mill, and of course, Mana Up. And all oh, of guys. you, you can catch this full yes. podcast on YouTube, Spotify, yes. or Apple. All the um, things. But Kalia, say bye to everybody. <laughs> thank you for having me, everyone. <laughs> I don't know where I'm looking. <laughs> right there, yeah. It's a Hawaii I see thing. You. We love you, Kalia. Uh, thank you for us. having me. Welcome back. Uh, Kalia Moniz is hanging out with us. And if you uh, joined us, you're probably watching us on YouTube, Spotify, or Apple. We Please just subscribe. gave her a bunch of like snacks. Please subscribe right now Watch because people have a problem of not subscribing for oh, some reason. Shaming why don't you subscribe? Too. Yeah, why don't you? Well, are any of those, do you like any of those? She's like, oh, uh, no, for I'm things because she's hapai right now. So, yeah. like, we literally just gave her what something. Are you, what, are like, you craving, ah. what are you craving for? I don't know. Besides everything. ahi. 
Um, boba, milk boba. I don't like, I never really? like, exactly. I don't like milk tea. You got to go across the street and get the boba ice cream. You didn't eat boba before? Uh, no. Texturally, but now you're like, I, no, like, I like boba. boba. I don't like milk tea. I don't, no, like, I don't the like flavor of milk either. tea. But now, but now it's like literally every day. And I, I swear was, that's why I've been gaining. If you're going to make doodoo, then you drink the boba milk tea. Really? Yeah. Oh, I mean, you my you gosh. So crass. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like burritos till I had my daughter, and then I had to eat burritos. And you time. lived in Me in Mexico, kind of. I lived in Los Angeles. Yeah, Mexico. <laughs> what the? Yeah. Yeah, nice side, vato. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Righty. Where do you Where do you uh, hang out when you're here? When you're home, besides Waikiki? Um. So my parents still live in Kulia O. Mm -hmm. I just moved to New Valley, and so we kind of are all really close yeah they didn't my want little you brother, to go too far <laughs> yeah my little brother just bought a house literally three doors down from so yeah so whose yard are you guys it's like a big yard it's you like guys a park yeah. it's, it's my little brother Seth. she's like taking boxing it's lessons your little brother's seth's house. place yeah really he bought this really nice property that's awesome yeah. surfing, you guys. surfing people yeah. get into it surfing in 2020 get into it we right? need we need more hawaiians on that side too right take back the land <laughs> <laughs> wow he said it yes i said it i didn't he has to buy it though Whole price. <laughs> we need a discount something. i know yeah. where's my where's my promo are you code? the first one giving them the the grandparents a or no nope. my oh. older brother has three. Oh, okay yeah yeah, they seem like they're yours. Oh, good. So they're relaxed now. Then they're not going to be all over you and your kid then because they already have three other grandkids. Oh, no, they're really. My mom's really oh, excited. She's all up in well, it. she's the only girl, too. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's already stressing about the COVID thing because right now she won't, as of right now, she won't be able to be in the delivery room. Right. Oh, and right. obviously, so like, she's already beside. Before I even said, Mom, would you like to be in the room? Right. She's there. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's set up cameras. We can set up do a live right? Zoom. No. Yes. What is wrong with you? We get Roxy to sponsor it. Oh, my gosh. We can have the cameras up here, <laughs> yeah, but nothing, nothing low. down there. Yeah. <laughs> no. You guys, uh, you have, oh, is it like your whole wardrobe, Roxy? Pretty much. You're not allowed to wear it. They're doing else? maternity now? I did not they're, know this. They're not, but oh, this okay. dress is Roxy, okay. and it kind of looks maternity. Okay, yeah. okay. I, I didn't believe in maternity clothes before I was pregnant. Oh, well, I didn't right. want to like. You're think, at six. Wait till you get to like. I know. Eight. I'm already. I already can't fit anything in my closet. Well, I had to order tiny. a bunch of new clothes. You're very tiny for six months, though. You are very. You tiny. should talk to Roxy about doing a line for right? maternity. maternity. Yeah. So I want to do like a non-maternity maternity. <laughs> so I don't want to call so it maternity. So it's just called extra large clothes, basically. Yeah. 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 Women. It's yeah. just Roxy. Tree women. X. Locals call them Tree X. Tree X. Yeah. I always said I want to date a girl who sleeps in my Tree X T-shirt. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Trust me. You know the one who wears the Garfield one? No, I'm no. just kidding. That's a I visual. Don't. Boy, that's <laughs> yeah. a visual. So do you, are you allowed to wear other clothing? What do you mean allowed? It's the United Some States of America. Some people, when you're sponsored, you can't wear other clothing. Yeah, so here's the thing. I don't know how much I'm allowed to talk about this. Yeah, don't talk about it. No, talk no, about like, it. No, like, I'm allowed I'm to wear. I'm agent. No, and you're not. great. You. You're a fantastic agent. This was I'm going to have you in the this middle. This was not clear. Can you stop interrupting the interview? <laughs> no, I love it. <laughs> what, are you, what are you allowed to do so not to do? I, I personally love Roxy. Yeah. So I like to wear Roxy. I'm also spending every day at the beach. Right. When I'm in a bikini, I'm 100% always wearing a Roxy bikini. Not just because I have to, but because I think they make the best mm. sports bikinis yeah. um, for the beach, but also for surfing. Right. And I think that's like a huge, when you are a surfer and you are going from like hanging out on the beach and like tanning or yeah, just yeah. hanging with your family to then having Ooh. to go in the water and perform. Right. It's important to have something that stays intact. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Everywhere. Yeah. How many bikinis do you think you have? That's a good I, question. Count. I got two daughters, and my youngest thinks that bikinis are ten dollars, <laughs> and she chooses the hundred and fifty dollar <laughs> ones all the bikinis time. Bikinis are so you expensive. I don't. Can you help right me out now. here? Like a gift are card you or something? Yes. Really asking she, her for we, swag right now? Every time we go to the store. <laughs> We have to buy a bikini. I said, where's the other 25 we just bought? Yeah. Wow. And you lose them. They're really easy to lose. She's your baby and she's a senior. Make her happy. She's in COVID. Buy she, her more bikinis. Listen to her. See, Wait till your daughter. You girl. How, she does your daughter wear yeah. small bikinis? You, she does. Yeah. She's extra small. She's no, a, like I, I'm not saying does she, but does she wear like super yes, tiny? And that's what sucks too. <laughs> How do you feel about they that? They keep getting smaller. I know it's crazy. You can't do anything about it. This I is can't do anything. Karmic payback. It is 
for the player and I've accepted who's been it. a player for most of his life. So now he's got. I have not. Why do you say stuff like that? Now he's got girls who why are. Why do you say stuff like that? This is live. This is true statement. No, no. Facts, Hawaii. No. Facts. I've always been in long relationships. Okay. I got four baby mama, but I've always been in long relationships. <laughs> I only got two. Yeah. <laughs> feels like four. Feels like four. Now, how many do you think you have? Bathing suits? Yeah. Probably. Like containers. Containers. I no, bet. I don't like. I don't like hoard mine. You don't hoard yours. I don't. I like. I, I like to like give them away right. to my friends. Donate them. Donate them. But I right now I probably have a hundred. Yeah, I think that's crazy. At least. That's a lot. How that many is do a you lot. Have? I don't have bikinis. How many one piece do you have? Three. <laughs> They were from my competition as Miss Universe 20 something years ago. And I, we got to frame those. I wear them now. Put them on your wall I here. See I'm them. not a big swimsuit person. Like, but you won. You look great. And I don't like to 40 go. years ago, you look great. I had two it. brothers that surfed, so I wasn't allowed at the beach. That's what, well, they didn't let you That was there. my thing. Oh, oh yeah. really? Yeah, so they never let me Because you weren't the allowed to be in a bikini. They didn't want their then. friends seeing me at the beach, so ah. I was stuck at home. See, it was different, different story yeah. on your side there. Yeah. I was yeah. also just treated like a boy. Yeah. So like, but when you're a Moniz, you can't like, if you were the one Moniz is like, I'm not going to the beach ever. It's like the whole world would and fall everyone, apart. And, <laughs> and everyone calls you sister. And everyone calls me <laughs> yeah. sister. Did you ever, uh, did they ever ask you to like help design? Roxy? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm doing, I did two collections last year. Nice. Two collections this year. Is this leading to the... Haley Bieber conversation or oh I don't know we can talk about that too was there so they, yeah they were it was a collaboration collab, we did right? with her oh. I dropped that name I dropped that name. <laughs> how did the Bieber thing come about um I think well Haley and I met through my husband because Joe has been friends with Haley and Justin for a really long time okay <laughs> and um, when I moved to New York mm -hmm. she lived in New York and she was like my best friend when I moved pre Bieber there. post Bieber this was pre Bieber pre Bieber this was Baldwin days. She was a Baldwin. Oh. She was a Baldwin. Mm, that's like being a one on the co-op, but you know. So you guys came up <laughs> with a, you came up with some ideas. So no, we um I think we we kind of traveled a bunch together. Uh -huh. um, we went Roxy to the Bahamas. Girl? No, but Roxy saw how much we were like doing, oh, how it. much we were doing She'd together, and they were like, "Hey, you guys are twins. Let's do so, yeah. Let's like do a collaboration right. with Haley, and you guys can that's how it works. design a collection." You know, it's uh like 20 years ago when just when uh, Bieber started getting big I kept trying to go to a concert and nobody wanted to go with me Where? my friends in LA oh, like when I, I travel like oh I'm in LA let's see he's, if he's here. never come here no never no right. he has right. to do a concert yeah that's how mm -hmm. I met him where here at the, at the oh you weren't living here I yeah you weren't no living here this, this was like thing. I was who brought 13? him in Moffitt who brought him in I don't know I remember now but I was traveling and I would always try to go see him but none of my friends wanted to go and they would always tease me, like, why do you want to go see him? I said, the guy is so talented. Mm. He plays every instrument. He's really He sings, he dances. Um, that's why I wanted to see him. And I think people get jealous. You know, like when I the think, boy bands I think people didn't like big. his hair. So, like, I was, I was friends, good friends with the new kids on the block. So whenever they had shows, I would go with them. You'd never see any guy. I'm sorry, did you just say never. you were friends with the new kids on the block? Yeah. Like all of them? Uh, Jordan and John, the brothers. So nobody would go. What? Nobody would come with me to the concert. Would you guys listen to me? <laughs> nobody would go to the concert <laughs> with me because it was a boy band. But they didn't realize how That's talented That's why were. people thought he was Mahu. And See? there were so many, <laughs> it all makes sense now. So many girls that we'd yeah. never see any guys at the concert. But that's how it is at a Bieber concert. Right. I think now, though, people really like guys. Now they are, yeah. Really I mean, because he's sort of come into his own and he's sort of grown. He's got, yeah. like, cool style. Yeah, yeah. And, and he's got his wife. He's got a really beautiful wife. Yeah. How are they hanging out with them? He's winning. At they are now. the best. Yeah. They're literally some of our best friends. That's They're awesome. the best. And that means a lot coming from a local person because, like, local people, I think, have, like, a meter that where they can, like, cut through a lot of the stuff where the people on the mainland be like, they're super cool, which is just, you know, like, but code because for, they're of, super right. famous, so I'm going to like you because <laughs> no, yeah, you're no. super famous. They're, they're just really amazing yeah. humans, individuals. Right. Also, like, they're they're a married couple, so it makes it really fun to have like married friends to like travel with and right. do fun yeah. stuff with. Yeah, right. Besides Waikiki and Hawaii, I know we're jumping all over the place here. Where do you like to surf? Like, what other island have you um, gone? I love to surf in Australia. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Is the surf right there? Surf's oh, really good. Oh, amazing there. surf. Better than Tahiti. Depends different. what you want. Yeah, yeah. Mm. it's very different. Mm. Um, 
Tahiti, I think, is just beautiful because it's like a you different version die. of Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, Makua was you, you in here. You could die at any point. Makua was on the well, show. Okay, let me just like rephrase <laughs> Tahiti. I'm not doing what Makua is doing yeah, when yeah. I go to Tahiti. I'm like frolicking with dolphins, right. enjoying like <laughs> the Great Barrier uh, Reef. Morea. Mokia. Uh, he was here and he told us a story about how he almost died and his lip was underneath yeah. his chin. Like his and whole she, jaw dropped and off. Like, and I was like, wow. What? <laughs> That's some yeah, crazy so she, shit. You're not, you're not talking about longboarding at Chopo. Yeah. I have longboarded at Chopo. Oh, have you? How big was it? It wasn't a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I won't do it again. Reflecting back on it now. And I'll never do it again. child, I don't think I will do it again. Yeah. Yeah. Most dangerous place you surfed besides there? Um, Chopo. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's I think it's just like just a very extremely dangerous wave. Biggest you've ever surfed in Waikiki. In Wikes? Yeah. Oh. Because remember back in the day, it used to be, you know, it'd get, it would get My really big. My dad said big. it would get really big. Yes, Define really big. back in the day. 20 years ago. So what's happening is the reason why all that, the reef is gone, mm. there's no big surf because the beach is going, the sand is going and covering the reef. When these hotels came, they built these walls. Nature has a tendency of taking the sand and right. moving like it clockwise. Like a washing machine. Like you go right. to Makaha, when it's big, all the sand is gone, right? Because right? it's moving it down the beach. Mm. It's not moving anymore, so it's covering the reef. The surf's not big anymore. Um. So it used to be really big, you know, 15 feet kind. Not I would not. I I have never served Waikiki fifteen. Yeah, uh, I don't She's think like it gets in there my anymore. History of my I life. Don't, I don't think it got gets there anymore. But um, it gets big once in a while in the summer, right? Yeah, it gets like it gets. It gets good. fun for yeah. her. <laughs> She's it like, it's fun. fun. Remember, like three years ago, it was it, we had that big swell. That really. Uh, so big I went swell. out on a stand up paddle board. <laughs> so I, I'm at I'm at uh, I was in at Waikiki though. Do I you was, surf? I, I used to. Okay. Now I'm too really? old. I stand up paddle. Oh, okay. Surf. I stand up paddle surf. Why do you feel like you have to stand up paddle because you're too old? I don't understand. Because my back hurts Ooh, and I can't get up. Here okay. we go. And my stomach is big, so I cannot get up. Okay. Aww. That's why I asked you when you surf, when you're pregnant, how did you surf? I really can't. And then this, this here <laughs> is not healthy. So when you're doing this and you're paddling. It hurts. It takes me uh, three waves and I'm in already. Okay. I cannot get up. Okay. So anyway, I stand so up paddle surf. Your bus the up. first wave I catch, I was over there at Alamoana. The board comes down and breaks three ribs. What? Yes. Oh, the stand up board. The stand up board because they're mm. big, right? And they're not supposed to be out in that. Kind so of I haven't surfed anything. since. <laughs> so three. Get you haven't on, surfed for three years. Get back on the Long, horse. Maybe a little bit longer. Get on the horse panty. What? <laughs> Listen to her. She, you go you to Maca even... You're out in Makaha posting pictures every five seconds. Well, what are you doing out I, there? I have surfed in Makaha since then, but it, it's not, not not that big. Okay, so you've surfed. You just haven't like surfed. Yeah, now I'm a chicken. I'm a chicken shit. Uh, two, three feet. I is am me. too, though. Yeah. I I like really well, small waves. Well, you're in a certain cer certain situation now. He no, but even pre-pregnancy. Right. I don't really like surfing. Big How waves. do you go to Makaha and hang out with all those boys and they don't give you crap? If about If you're with Brian Keolana, you don't you have to worry about nothing. True. Number one. Number two. If I'm in a canoe, which we do a lot, mm. then he's steering. I'm just riding. Mm. Oh, I am so scared of canoe surfing. Are you? Mm. I like to be in control. Right. Yeah. So you're in. You have zero control when you're on you, someone you else's do. canoe. But yeah, he's like Jesus, take the wheel. You know, <laughs> we went to Miley, Miley one time, and it was like 15, 18 feet. And it was me and Brian. That was it. On uh, a oh, canoe. Malika, me and Brian and Malika Dudley. On a on canoe. On a canoe. Malika's and, and, a beast. Though. And Brian's like, uh, we're gonna get a photographer. And I was like, for what? He goes, it's like 15 to 18 today. I was like, I ain't going in there. <laughs> I go, you crazy? I'm not going in there. You, you, you're crazy. And he goes, no, no, don't worry. And he calmed me down and whatever. He convinced me to stand up paddle the Molokai Channel. That's how convincing he is. But anyway, you stand it was, up paddle the Molokai Channel. Yeah, I did it twice. What? Yeah. So when how is long? This happening? How long did it take? I don't tell you? people this stuff. You don't tell people so, any of that. That is stuff. really crazy. So the, the time limit is eight hours, and then the insurance runs out. I made it in seven hours and fifty-eight minutes or wow, something. Barely right made it. Under the. And anyway, so I, we get on this wave. We catch four or five big ones, and then here comes this gnarly set. We get on the wave. I swear to God, it was 18, 20 feet. We get on it. And right before we get on it, um, Kavena Chun, mm. you guys know Kavena yeah, the model? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's getting on the canoe. So now there's four of us. And Brian's yelling out instruction. All right, if we wipe out, you stay in the canoe. Don't jump out, blah, blah, blah. She jumps out and the ama <gasps> hits her in the eye. A perfect slice on her eyebrow. No. And she was entering the Miss Hawaii pageant three months later. Wow. She took first runner up, yeah, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. But we went over 
and it was a yard sale. <laughs> and we were lucky because the coast, uh, the uh, lifeguards were doing practices on the beach. So they had, had their like, skis. We had, we had like 20 of them in the water to rescue us. That's the last time I rode a canoe. Man, you're going to have a lot of luck this, this whole situation. Well, we had fun. Well, you also first. don't go on a canoe when it's 20 feet. Yeah. Unless you're Brian Kiel on. Unless you're Brian. Oh, yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Unless you, like, want to. Yeah. Yeah. Someone has to convince you you probably shouldn't have It was go. fun, though. We caught maybe a dozen waves before the wipeout, that big one. Mm. Yeah. And I got a great story to tell. And you got pictures. Do you have pictures? I do. I have pictures. Pixar didn't happen, bro. Also, uh, <laughs> Pics or it I'll didn't post happen. Them, uh, I'll post them on my Instagram okay. later. Okay. Yeah. But thank you, Kalia, for making it today. Hashtag DPD. Thank you for having me, you guys. You're, yeah. on, you're on Instagram. We know that. What's your name on Instagram? K-E-L-I-A-M-O-N-I-Z. Yeah, no hyphen. No hyphen. Um, and then are you on Facebook? I am on Facebook. Am I active? Am I, do I no. upload things on Facebook? You will not be. Do, do you do the twit? Tweet, uh, twit, 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 you, you, <laughs> you do a lot of things. You won't once you have the babies. So. You do a lot of things. But I might do YouTube soon. So that's you fine. should. You All really right. should. You d- you have an interesting life and. It would be. I'm sure your your family's never been approached to do like a reality show. <gasps> Girl, oh, we have, and but you, it's your, just your dad's like a little not bit. Thing, so no. Yeah, I don't know. I think you should do one though. Maybe. You got Ra- this cute dog. Raising Moniz. You're gonna have a baby. You know, a husband from New York. How does it fit here? You bring him to Wai Nai yet? Oh, he goes to Wai Nai by himself. He loves Makaha. Does he? Yes. I love See, you found the one. Is he Jewish? No. Wow, the one Jew in New York, Mazel. Um, Mazel. She married a Jew. I married a Holly, and he hates it here. So I have he the hates o- it. total opposite. Most of the ones that come here are here not by force. Yeah. Not mine. <laughs> well, I forced my husband to move here, but he now loves it. <laughs> he drank the Kool Aid. Mine is not drinking. But he's it. kind of in your business, right? Yeah. yeah. So he's a photographer, right. but he oh, travels okay. a lot. So I think his lifestyle makes it really like comfortable to be here. Right. 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 Yeah. Well, please give our best to mom and dad and the brothers. I will. Yes. And congratulations. Congratulations on the baby boy. Thank Lanai you. Lanai was a great name. Maybe middle name. If wow. it doesn't work out Lanai. as a first name. Yeah. I'll put that one no. in my notes. Not a thing. Kalia Muniz, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks Thank for joining us. Aloha. Thanks for joining the podcast. We'll see you next week.